So Jen, thank you so much for being here. And I'm excited to chat with you about community, about just like your vibes here at Shackley. So let me start off with this question, like I said, around community. Why does community matter? Because I think people throw around that word, but like, why does it matter in, for real? Yeah, well, it's so interesting because when I joined this industry, it was just me. And I, I joined because I wanted the discount on the product that I was going to sell. And um, I had no idea that there was community involved. And what I quickly found out was that it's necessary and it is the most, um, it's the thing that's going to inspire you to make your business what you want it to be because you have a mentor, because you have a team and everyone is there cheering you on. They are showing you what is possible. They're there just to support you. Um, I never would have accomplished what I've accomplished in this kind of industry without the community. Um, they become my best friends. 100%. I think it is one of those kind of un like you don't realize that's what you're going to get out of it. Like you always hear like, oh, you can, you know, also join for the community, you know, and you're kind of like, okay. But what you, are you talking about? Yeah, you're like, I've got enough friends. I don't need to I got friends. I have my family. I'm good. Not interviewing. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you like create these connections. And I think it's really um it's really just, I, you know, I think people do say, you know, your best, some of your best friends are, you know, the people you work with. And this is, you know, you, we put in that work. And I think you do create those authentic connections. When we think of health and wellness, and I think Shackley thinks of health and wellness a little bit differently. And I think you've learned this like a little bit more holistically, just kind of inner outer things as that relates to aging. And I know I'm, I'm going to take a little bit of a turn here, but as it relates to aging and the whole idea that, you know, some people, you know, there's this kind of growing theme that aging is not just this chronological thing. It's more of a mindset. So when I say the word ageless to you, what does that mean to you? Ageless to me is, yeah, not being defined by your age. Like, mm. And this really hits home for me um, right now because I turned 50 this year. And leading up to 50, you know, as a woman, I'm just speaking from a woman's point of view, yeah. you just hear like, oh, once you hit 45, it's downhill from there. You're gonna gain weight. Doctors tell you there's nothing you can do about it. And so last year at 49 in the summer, I was like, I am not going to follow that script because uh, I, there, there are women, honestly, it's like I was following some women on Instagram who were 50 and up and they decided at 49, I'm going to start lifting weights and they look amazing. And so I've, my thing has always been, if, if I see someone who has done something that I want to do, and if they've done it, then why can't I do it too? Mm -hmm. So I joined the why <laughs> because I had some weight that I couldn't get off. And it was, it was bringing me down. And it wasn't that like, I felt like I needed to be a certain weight. I just wanted to feel strong. I wanted to feel good in my body. I wanted to actually just see like, where, where can my body be right now? And just not accept like, okay, this is how it is. So it's been an amazing journey because, um, I, I feel stronger now than I've felt in decades. Like I, <laughs> well, you look good, girl. You do well, not <laughs> Thank you. But it's just, it's that whole mindset of like, you know what, don't, don't toss me in that group just because this is, you know, statistically what's supposed to happen to you. Like I say, no, like why, why can't I try and see what, whatever other people have done in front of me and see what, what happens. See, I told you guys you would love her. I say no. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, because you're right. I think we're told, we're taught, especially as women, we're taught that aging is like a decline and mm -hmm. you can't do anything about it. Like your collagen goes, your weight goes, like everything is like- It's this, doom and gloom, just doom and gloom. Doom and gloom, this yeah. morbid, hundred percent. And I, I agree. I say no, because it's like, we can have more of this proactive, we can be a proactive participant in our own experience, in our aging, in our health, in our the way we feel, the way we look. And so I think that is such this beautiful message that I have found 
exciting because I, like you, am a little newer to Shackley. And I have been like, wow, this whole concept that, you know, we really not only like we just as a community embody this concept that we can be on this mission to look, feel and live younger, longer, because I can own that, you know, not it owns me.